When everything is on, we light a candle We're breathing really slow with artists We're waiting for the dawn with empty bottles You turn around when I want to kiss Oh my goodness, good morning, welcome to the vlog Bald hair, don't care Brooks is just peeing in the backyard everywhere There you go Mud! <laughs> Today the daddy bird is feeding the babies Look, he's right there And he was just putting his mouth in the baby bird's mouth. Oh, there he goes. He said, hang on, let me go get some more food. Well, Emma's right here just chilling in the sunshine. You better get back in. We got, we got one got dog food. trying to eat food. Sunshine. It's actually lunch over here in hey, our guys, state, in our guys, area. I just remembered, before, Mommy, before we go, before we eat, can we go check on the babies and the mailbox? Oh yeah. Yeah, the, oh, and that. the vlog hasn't heard about that yet. Oh yeah. Oh, there's, there, guess what? There's a nest in, in the bottom part of our mailbox, and like the baby birds, whenever <laughs> I say, hey baby birds, they do this. And there's a blue egg, and it has a hat, and, it will, and mommy said it rolled out of the nest. There's yeah. a blue egg in there? Yeah. That's come on, right. Come on, come on. So we mentioned this in uh, the vlog either yesterday or the day before. Let's make sure Ada doesn't come out because I've, I've spent a lot of time making these pants lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are outside eating lunch, enjoying some fresh air. I gave our little sitting places. I made some little chairs with some of the trees that we cut down. Back, 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 back. And some snow over here. Yesterday, after I built that wood rack, or the day before, whenever y'all saw that, I built the wood rack, the bunk beds. Got in touch with somebody on Facebook Marketplace for the low low on a chainsaw, a gas powered chainsaw. And we have made progress. Look at this. Now we just gotta chop up okay, all this. So the price ended up working out. Oh yeah, so. Set aside money for the lawn guy. We lost our lawn guy. We no longer have a lawn guy. I yeah, am I you the lawn guy. You are the lawn girl. These three have hauled branches and bushes down and up the driveway. We the could show them our uh, pile once we get down here. Three days. And y'all made a little border with some free pavers that you got off of Facebook Marketplace. I did like, I got those like probably, what, two months ago? It was when Gaines had the flu. So however long ago that They've was. They've been sitting in the back of her car. So they bordered the mailbox. They bordered around this little garden area back in the back. But wait, you never Said about the money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So usually we pay him about 70 or 80 bucks, 75, 80 bucks to cut our yard and trim it and do everything else. So we had budgeted that so in. We Hang on, Brooks. Budgeted don't walk that over in there. this month. But then if y'all missed the vlog where we talked about how we don't have a lawn guy anymore, so the money that we had budgeted before we realized that uh, we weren't going to get a callback from him actually ended up being the same amount for this chainsaw. And then and with the perfect. lawnmower starting itself, like literally that was all we needed for right now to yes. do the lawn. So. I wanna go cut it, uh, I mean turn it on and make sure it still works. Like, <laughs> I wanna crank it every day just so it doesn't stop. There That's is our pile. <laughs> pile that y'all have hauled down. There's the border with the free pavers. Yep. Hey, is mommy bird in there? I hope not, she left that out in my hood and I don't have a flashlight today. I can't see in there. Ooh, I heard him. Hey baby buddies. I hope the mom's not in there and she's gonna fly out. Hang on, don't touch it buddy. Wait, oh shoot, yes she is. Dang, that mommy bird is in there. She gonna flout at our heads. She's like blue. Hang on, let me. Wait, it's a blue bird? I think, you look. Look with your with your flashlight and take a picture. So underneath our mailbox we have this thing that, I don't know, it's supposed to be where people stick newspapers or something. She's like, dang, we're having a lightning storm. Let's see. Isn't that oh, a bird? Yeah, look, there's her tail feather. She's like, oh, you can see her eyeball right there looking at me. Oh, she is. She has her head buried. She's like ducked down. Is it a blue jay? She's... Or is it one of those blue birds? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, there she goes. That's her right there. She flew out. She just flew up into that tree. Now we can look at the babies. We have a blue bird and a red bird. That's so cool. And this is supposedly this is a blue bird, Mommy, not a blue jay. Oh, no. Hey, hey, blue, blue buddy. Hey. <laughs> They're getting all the debris. Yes. And like that, we have opened this up. I know it's hard to tell on the camera, but it has opened it up a lot more and we're not gonna have random branches other than the very, very tall ones just hanging, dangling down. Feels so much better out here. There's a creeper in my shot back here, creeping on out my windows, snatching my children up. The kids napped and while they were napping and after they woke up from their naps, I set up a little nest cam rig right here on the bird's nest. So I'll insert some of the footage.
The kids have been out here playing. It's so crazy. Like Katie said in yesterday's or day before video, how you give them a little activity and they start playing by themselves. And here we are again. Look at this. Oh, you made a cool color. Got some stumps here that they were using as chairs earlier for their lunch. And now they're getting to decorate their stumps and do whatever they want to with them. These stumps can last forever. Yeah, they'll last as long as the, they last. I don't know if they'll last forever, but a tree can grow to be a thousand million trillion years old. You count the rings that are in the middle of it and that'll tell you how old it is. But each ring is like, what, a year in a tree, tree world? I don't know. And in other news, cracked chicken. We've got a crackhead up in here. She's cooking some cracked chicken. I gotta get these kids some water. I can't remember if I've told y'all about this cracked chicken I make. I may have told Instagram stories, I don't remember, but it's like the easiest thing ever. I guess I can open it. It won't mess up the Instant Pot right now, will it? I don't know. Okay, so this is what it looks like before. So it's got, hope I didn't mess it up. I don't know if you're supposed to open that thing when I was getting started. I just started it though. But it's got two big massive frozen chicken breasts in it and then a cup of chicken broth and then it's supposed to be a packet of that ranch, dry ranch seasoning that you make ranch dressing with. But we just have the big old bottle of it and so I just pour a bunch of it in there. And then bacon, you saute bacon on the saute mode of the Instant Pot beforehand. We already had some cooked so I just put that in there. The chicken breast, the ranch seasoning, and the one cup of chicken broth. And then you let it cook for, it's supposed to be 12 minutes if they're not frozen, mine are frozen, so it's 15 minutes. And then I can let y'all know what you do after that because I don't really remember. I feel like you take the chicken out and then you shred it and then you put some cream cheese in it. So I'll let y'all know how it turns out. You serve it usually over rice. I like to do riced cauliflower for a lower carb option and you can also do it over noodles or whatever. It's really good and that's why they call it crack chicken. My hair looks like I've been on that crack chicken. All right, well Colin decided to make a fire and he said, hey, I've heard that Doritos are really good fire starters. Can Look you see that. that there's a Dorito? I put a Dorito fire? in there, so anytime you're out camping. That is like. How crazy is that? What the heck? There's an actual Dorito and it just immediately caught on fire and it's staying, like it's not just burning up, it's staying lit. Like barely, I barely put fire on it. And then I put some sawdust on there. How about that trick? Have y'all ever done the Dorito trick? Let us know in the comments below. There you go. You have to blow real gentle and see it's gonna catch all of those little tiny sticks on fire. Oh my gosh. Okay, well the verdict is that the Dorito did stay lit for a good long time, several minutes, but it was not long enough and strong enough to light the other wood, so. Yeah, if I was like wanting to be real survival-esque. You, you could have made it work, I but. I could have made it work, but I'm just. just we're just gonna use a fire starter instead. Yeah. <laughs> Can't put it together because the. Oh man. It broke. Hmm. Did one of y'all break it? No. <laughs> did you? No. Did you? Not me. Did you? Nope. You broke it. It was a rock monster. Nope. Yeah. Nope. All right, so you let it naturally release the pressure. Oh, we're back in with the chicken, that. by that the way. make a loud noise if you just naturally release the pressure. We're back in here with the chicken, by the way. So it's naturally released and now we let the rest of it out. And oh my goodness, it smells so dang good. It looks like that and you take it out and I'm gonna shred the chicken. I've talked about this trick before, but you have never done it. If you wanna shred chicken up really fast, instead of using a fork, use a mixer. A lot of people have stand mixers. I don't. But if that doesn't change your life, as far as like shredding up some chicken really quickly instead of having to use a fork and a knife and burning your fingers off, I don't know what oh, will. Oh, and if that doesn't call in your cats, I don't know what will. Here you go, you have a little piece. You put this back on saute. You take a whole block of cream cheese. Y'all just ignore the screaming. Just ignore it. It's, you know. I feel like all people's videos are kids screaming in the background these days. Even the newscasters. Get outside, go, bye! <laughs> This saute starts pretty quickly heating up. It's like already kind of bubbly a little bit, but then you just want to whisk this uh, cream cheese up in there until it is melted and creamy. Nicely dissolved in there. You can see it's super creamy and it doesn't really matter if it's completely dissolved. It can still be a little chunky because once you add the chicken in there, it'll start to unchunkify itself. I put the chicken back in there and then stir that all up together. This is why I especially love Instant Pots because you can not only cook the chicken in there super fast, like literally it took 15, well, with the pressure 
building or whatever, maybe 30 minutes. You can saute stuff in there and do everything else in the same pot. Didn't have to dirty up any other dishes for this. It is mixing all up and then at this point you just kinda, I usually let it simmer for a little bit longer to dissolve any chunks from the cream cheese. And then that's basically it. So this is the easiest recipe ever. Um, sometimes I'll taste it and if it needs a little bit more of the ranch seasoning or any other type of flavor, if you like spicy, whatever. Then after that, just get you some pasta or rice or rice cauliflower or spaghetti squash. You could even do it over zoodles or something like that. Really, it can go over anything. Sometimes we eat it kind of like a soup. Just spit a piece of chicken out. You can like add a little bit more milk or cream or something to thicken it up, but I prefer it like this. Of course, I always add almonds to the top. You always ask about that. It is a healthy fat. It does have protein and fiber and all that in it too. I have found that making sure I include a healthy fat like that in my meals or snacks or whatever literally keeps me full way longer than without it. So kind of strange. And then I'll add some cheese probably to the top too. So, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so ready to eat it. If you have never heard of or seen rice cauliflower and don't know what I'm talking about, this is a big bag that I bought at I don't know, Sam's or Costco a long time ago. And I just take out what I need when I need it. I'm the only one in the family that eats it, so it lasts for a long time. A little resealable bag, you know? And then you're not running out too soon, you're not wasting it, you're not having to buy it all the time. So it's a good option. Gluten-free, and then let's see what the four carbs and two fibers, so two net carbs, if you are counting that kind of thing. This is what it looks like when it is cooked or warmed up. Basically, it looks just like rice. It's honestly not that bad. It doesn't smell amazing, because it's cauliflower, like you know broccoli and cauliflower kind of smell a little funky. Good alternative. Here is the finished product for the adult. Fell in likes olives. I do not. Sometimes I like to throw in at the end a little spinach or kale or something while it's hot so it'll kind of just like soften and be an added addition. But I forgot until it was not boiling anymore. So I just threw some celery sticks in there. That one's a little brown. We'll just turn that around. Maybe he won't notice. <laughs> so we decided to eat it outside tonight with the fire and with frozen blaring up there. How is it guys? Good. Good. Oh you didn't have a hood. You want me to get you a hat? It got a little cold on us all of a sudden, didn't it? 56 degrees. Woo. Well, if you're in Alabama, it's cold. <laughs> Moved on to roasting marshmallows Yummy. for s'mores. However, we were out of um, Hershey's chocolate, so I have a Milky Way, a Twix on yours. Twix, oh yeah. And I'm gonna put this on top and see how this turns out. And he just likes to eat his oh, marshmallows Oh, that's the second regular. one. Oh my goodness. No more after that, buddy. Because <laughs> he does not like chocolate and he doesn't like his marshmallows roasted. Dang, what did you do to that marshmallow? That is huge. Oh crap, it's about to fall, hang on. I mean, that's bigger than the graham cracker. What in the world? This turned out so good. I think we may have found a new thing. Who needs just a Hershey's chocolate bar? Whoa! Oh gosh. Drop my big old here. Brooks is going marshmallow and graham cracker now, no chocolate. And you're gonna go Milky Way. Well, of course, take me to the Milky Way. Mm. We're gonna go eat these. Thank you guys for watching. Go make a s'more, go make a fire. Hey. Use I a Dorito to light it. Have a great day.